I was told how great this uh, canister of spray plaster was going to be. This is supposed to make a popcorn pattern on the ceiling. So I read the directions, got advice from a couple of the workers to do this. And uh, it, what it did is it came out in glops. So here's the original popcorn pattern. And this is how it came out from the spray thing. Uh, again, glops, not little. I was expecting little particles. I got it all uh, coated with uh, masking, but uh, it really did a, a very nasty job. So my next plan is to scrape all this off and uh, retexture the whole ceiling with sort of a loop roller, which I've done before. I, I did. Uh, 900 square feet in the basement of, uh, of a renovated ceiling with uh, a different sort of texture material. But this is, you know, I sp spent almost 30 bucks on this canister and it didn't even cover the area and it didn't cover it good. So, got lots of plaster but nothing uh, good for an outcome here. So I'll use my separate plaster bucket to roll out some uh, plaster on the ceiling and then use the texture roll to give me something different from what I've got here. The continuing saga of the laundry room. So I decided to scrape off all the uh, applied uh, popcorn texture which didn't really become popcorn texture and then uh, to scrape off the uh, Existing popcorn texture, the part, the toughest part is the back here because it's so far removed from reach of, uh, because, the, because the washer dryer in place and it, it's so tough to move, I've never successfully moved it. Uh, and I'm obviously not getting very far on top of the air conditioner unit either because it's so close to the ceiling. Uh, so the rest of it, to prepare for scraping, um, I used a spray bottle. Now there's, there's not shout in it. It's water. <laughs> I, I dumped the shout out into the stock bottle, rinsed the bottle out real well, and so it's uh, not even this 22-ounce uh, bottle full covered this ceiling enough. Uh, basically, just sprayed it on, waited about uh, 10 to 15 minutes, and then went back with a um, uh, with a, a plaster knife. Uh, this is a five-inch one. Um, and then underneath it, I would put a garbage can. And I should have used a bigger garbage can because uh, the one I used was was really just too small. I should have gotten a. You know, one of those 13 quart garbage cans that are more rectangular. So I ended up with a lot on the floor. But, uh, you know, wet the plaster, let it soak in, scrape it with a putty knife, and it sort of drops off in layers as you, as you scrape uh, at the edge of it. So then I'll uh, retexture with some other method. But uh, the popcorn sprayer was terrible. A little canister bottle. This is a continuation of my ceiling texturing project. Um, I, I tried the, uh, the method of the popcorn ceiling and it turned terribly uh, with that spraying canister. So um, I went back to a method that uh, I was more familiar with, which is uh, texturing with a a sort of loop roller. I just applied this section. Um, what I was running into is uh, if I take too long to apply it, it softens the underlying plaster. And then as I'm rolling, it starts rolling off pieces of the underlying plaster because this was a patched up uh, ceiling from when a uh, repair of the leaking pipes in the ceiling was going on. So uh, this is the, the outcome. But it, it took three trials because um, of the sequence uh, I was doing it in. I'm, I'm rinsing off the, um, 
the loop roller here to, to get the plaster out and once I get it all cleaned off it'll be uh, reusable again. But the roller has these it's made up of all these loops and it fits over a, over a regular uh, paint type roller. And I did a, a 900 square foot uh, basement renovation and textured the ceiling with that same sort of um, loop roller probably over uh, 16 years ago and I, I, I had good outcome from it. So anyway I was uh, looking on the internet and they gave me some other instructions but they said take a, like a, a regular uh, thick paint roller like this and roll out the plaster and once you get a layer of plaster rolled out under the ceiling then go over with the uh, uh, the, the texturing uh, roller. However, by the time I got the the um, plaster rolled out with this, it had been so long that it was softening up the underlying patches of uh, plaster that were in the ceiling. And so um, I that happened in selected areas that had been patched. And so I, I went back and. Um, we did it, but then again, it took a little bit too long because I said, oh, well, let, let me retouch this area because it needs a little bit more texturing. And then I had the same problem where pieces of it were pulling out from underneath. So the, the working parts are this uh, regular sort of uh, paint pan, the roller mechanism, and then a, a texture roller. And what I do is I mix up the... Uh, plaster so that it's not solid like it originally comes out so it's it's more um, of a of a soup by adding a little bit of water to it so that it uh, uh, it's not real dry and solid uh, like it comes out of this canister usually just by adding water and then I uh, basically put a bunch of it in the, the bottom of the pan here and add a little water and then mix it up with uh, with a plaster putty knife plaster knife uh, until it's the right consistency and then I sort of using the roller sort of roll it out onto this surface and, and keep rolling it until I've got a coating on the texturing roller um, and then apply it directly to the ceiling till I, till I get the uh, so, somewhat even effect that I that I want. Um, it goes through the plaster pretty fast. I had a you know this full canister full of plaster for just a um, about a f five by eight ceiling area in the laundry room, and that, that was what I was plastering. But it went through this whole um, um, almost well it's three and a half quarts. It went through one of these and I wasn't done with the project yet. And so then I bought another one of those and I had to use a, maybe a third of that to, to finish the texturing project. But again, I was doing it in three steps because I took too, I, I let the plaster sit too long there wet and then try to roll wet plaster after it had softened underneath. Um, initially, I tried mixing the plaster in this sort of a, a pan, which I use for regular plastering, but um, I found I couldn't get the, the water from the corners that I'd added and it actually seemed to mix better in this um, open pan arrangement than it did in this much more uh, narrow pan for plaster. I'm using a small fan to circulate air inside the laundry room to sort of speed up the drying of the ceiling and then um, once I'm done there I'm going to put a, a coat of paint on the ceiling and then I'll be taking off this uh, masking from the side walls because I still have to put a second coat of paint on the, the walls uh, of the laundry room which I had to stop because of the ceiling leak. I guess there's a, a final step to the um, texturing here. Um, what I've done in the past, which I haven't done yet, is, is to take a stiff piece of cardboard and sort of rub it across the uh, the edge of the cardboard across the ceiling to knock down any of these spikes that seem to be sticking out too much 
because I don't want to have a, an excessively sharp texture to the ceiling uh, and sometimes the roller can leave things in sort of a sharp jagged pieces <laughs> pointing out of the ceiling and uh, uh, just like to break those off with a edge of a uh, cardboard box lid or something like that so it's not quite as jagged. After enough uh, rinsing and soaking uh, the plaster that's sort of stuck in the, the loops there will eventually uh, loosen up and mostly dissolve away then you can rinse it out a little further and then once it's um, fairly clean you can actually set it on a, a plate to air dry it'll uh, the, the water will flow off this uh, onto the plate and dump the excess and then uh, just sort of let it sit there for a day or so for the rest of the uh, water to drain out and it'll be good for using it again okay for the last step of the texturing of the ceiling I took a uh, a box lid um, and rubbed it across the ceiling basically holding the box lid up with both hands uh, and then for the way back parts I took, uh, I took this edge and got it all the way to the back corner and pushed it up with both hands and dragged it across the ceiling and what that did is it, it sort of uh, what it looked like is it put little dust particles that were falling from the ceiling but what it did is it knocked all the sharp pieces off the, the tips of the textured ceiling and now I'm ready to uh, roll over it with a paint roller um, and instead of doing a, a large section at once I've got this sort of miniature roller here that I'll uh, roll out in the, the paint and I probably won't even use the whole big paint can that I've been using for uh, texturing. Uh, I'm just going to use this uh, roller that's maybe a third the, the width of the thing and it's a pretty thick nap so uh, it should get into the crevices of the texturing to get the paint in there. I finally finished the work on the laundry room with uh, the texturing roll which is what the ceiling pattern is here. It was made easier because my wife agreed to letting me use the same semi-gloss enamel on the ceiling as I uh, used on the, on the wall. Uh, you can see it's not a, a perfect uh, texturing. This is probably one of the places where the uh, plaster from the patches of the ceiling pulled loose when I left the, uh, the wet plaster for too long on the ceiling and then rolled the texturing roll over it and it uh, pulled some of the stuff down and I didn't quite get it flat. But uh, as we see, um, a man on a fast bicycle wouldn't notice this sort of thing. The, the rest of the, uh, the ceilings in the condo is this uh, popcorn texture uh, and this is the uh, texture I got out of the, uh, the loop roller and I added this funny little plate there so that uh, the doorknob doesn't put a hole in the, in the wall and I wonder if I've made too good of a seal here at the baseboard because uh, if we do have another leak, it's not going to be able to seep through. It's all held in place by a caulk and then a coat of paint over everything. So this is the popcorn pattern that's on the rest of the ceiling, which is actually a, a flat white. And I even wonder if it's been painted. Because every... It, Anytime anything rubs against the ceiling, uh, all these little particles uh, fall off the, the ceiling in the condo.